because the Buddhist thing can lead us to the true path and to the true can bring to the true place where there's no suffering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to to reach or to reach such a aim, such a destination, we need to learn more. We need to practice more. So in power we can learn everything practically or uh, theoretically. So so I'm happy to be in power so that I can learn a lot mm -hmm. if if I afford. <laughs> I have no ability to to define what they are like, but it's beyond my reach, my, my understanding. Is quite, she's, she's a very profound learner teacher. He can teach very well and a lot of meta mm -hmm. and a lot of wisdom. So we can, when I first met Ciaro, I, I feel oh, quite charming. <laughs> this, this should be my teacher. <laughs> because I, when I first arrived Park, we only that time. This is the first time that we 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 met we met Seattle. Mm. So since then, I stay there off and on, go and go go and come back. But every time I go and see Seattle, I have something. I I got. <laughs> yeah. So also every day. I think this. When I f first arrived there, Sarah gave Dhamma talk every day, every night. So we can listen to Dhamma talk. We have much, every day we are gaining the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So this bring me, uh, this changed my mind to study more and more. And also I, because I realized the Nibbana is very profound, we cannot easily obtain, <laughs> it easily attain. So we need more knowledge and more practice. Of this oh practice yes, of so course. In China, many years ago, I heard there's one saying, if we can propagate or we can Yeah, we can pro propagate the sasana to the Chinese people, then the sasana well can last more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because <laughs> because Chinese are everywhere in the world. <laughs> That's one say that I had before. <laughs> okay, anyways, in any countries, if there's a meditation center which is teaching the true path then that's very good we are so impressed for that so in china i think this is the first like a power branch so first power branch we may say so we are happy for that if you intended to propagate the sasana then you need this unity and the sada, sada of the devotees and also for the teachers. Especially the unity between the teacher and the devotees, or the lay disciples, and also the sangha. As long as you are in un unity, then your work will be successful. For those who for want those to meditate, to for those who want to meditate, must try to be able to meditate, <laughs> not just wanting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> many people, if we ask where, whether they want to meditate or not, they say, "Oh, I like to very much," but most of them cannot. 
So, do you like to meditate? Mm. Okay. Can you meditate? Mm. <laughs> Not now. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> When? <laughs> That's the case. Mm. So, to be able to meditate, one who wants to meditate should fulfill the some uh, the paramis. Mm. Okay. There are ten paramis. I think you know. Ten paramis. Those who want to attain nirvana need to fulfill ten paramis. Among these ten, then regarding your question, among these ten, the nikama parami is more important for those who want to meditate but cannot meditate, <laughs> because nikama parami is. Paramis provide support or bring you to the condition or to the place where you can meditate well. Because nekama paramis need to be able to nekama parami is that you you practice staying away from the sensual pressure. Okay, cutting out your business, your beloved one, your family, your all properties, then. Without all those things which make your mind restless, without those things, of course your mind there will be calm. So, this is a, a kind of practice to stay like this, away from your all sensual pleasures, your properties, everything. So, if you can fulfill this parami, and if this parami mature, then. You can renounce easily. Then you have time to meditate, and also you can meditate. Otherwise, always you have a reason. Oh, my family! I have something to do. My family. I have my business. I have my children. I have my father. I have my boss. <laughs> The business I I I still have to provide. So many reasons, because you cannot cut out. Our bodhisattva, when he is fulfilling such a parami, uh, as a bodhisattva, he has passed in past past life. Since he has a lot of kusala accumulation, in most life, he became a higher level. He 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 was reborn in higher level of the standard. <coughs> Maybe, maybe in the king, king become a king, become a very rich person, okay. And he also uh, enjoy whatever he obtain. This this a rich, rich uh, environment, everything. But once he has a We call it urgency. Some way got. He can easily cut out. Like the last life, he can just leave his kingdom, his wife, his beloved son, immediately. That's because the nikamapa is very high and mature. So this one is more important for those who are just telling, "I want to meditate. I want to meditate." But also giving many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so fulfill more the karma parami. Okay. <laughs> That's <just> very true. <laughs> That's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> But you, you, you should start. For example, if you cannot renounce for whole life, maybe for short time, and then try more. Next time, try more. Okay, one week to one month, one month to three months, three months to ten months, ten months to the whole life. <laughs> <laughs> This way, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. We wish Bhante well and happy.